Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. The search continues this morning for three men wanted in connection with the deadly shooting on the city's west side. Police released surveillance photos of the suspects. Take a, take a look right here. The men are accused of hitting a car on Warren Avenue near Livernoy early Monday morning. Police saying the men then walked up to the 19 year old victim's car and fired multiple shots, killing him. Another person was injured in the shooting. If you recognize the suspects, call Detroit police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. So a historic Negro League ballpark is set to be renovated. Thank you to a federal grant. Well, Hamtramck Stadium is receiving $500,000. The 90 year old ballpark was once the home of the Detroit Stars. It's only one of five Negro League ballparks still standing in America. And saw the likes of Hall of Famers, Turkey, uh, uh, Stearns and, of course, the great Satchel Page take that field. Well, we had the rain yesterday, a clearer sky this morning, although we are dealing with some fog in a couple of spots early on. Once the fog burns off, we're in good shape and we'll stay dry today. And it does look like we're going to hold off on any rain tomorrow and see the chance for storms arriving on Sunday. Visibility you can see greatly reduced in the Jackson area, also up toward Port Huron. In between, not too bad, about two mile visibility right now. Monroe, Shelby, you're at 61, a high near 90. Canton, you're in the mid 60s right now. And again, near 90 degrees, Dearborn in the low 70s. So temperatures are fairly mild to start with our temperatures near 90 degrees. The heat is back on for another hot and steamy weekend. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.